Good morning, mighty men and women of God. Today is Wednesday, October 21st of 2020. Have you ever had those times when you go to the secret place for prayer and you feel like you're the only one there? Oftentimes, making the connection with Father God is difficult. But one thing is certain. If we are not making connection with Him, it isn't His fault. When these times happen, it's important for us to check ourselves. If everything looks to be in order with us, then it's time to rebuke the enemy. The enemy is not going to just sit around and allow us to grab our daily communication and instructions from Father God without a fight. If the enemy can distract us from meeting with the Lord, he has disabled another soldier in the army of God. So today, this morning's prayer looks at the life of prayer and the diligence and tenacity it takes to meet daily with Father God. Father, sometimes we come to the secret place and it seems you are not there. What do we do when there is not an immediate connection with you? Do we get frustrated or perhaps impatient? Do we decide to just walk away and try again later? Or do we wait patiently, placing a demand for your attention? There are many who would tell us it's not appropriate to demand anything from you. After all, you are the creator of all things, and we are just part of the creation. But Father, your word shows us you are not moved to action solely by need. You are moved to action by those with faith who place expectancy upon you to move on their behalf. Oh, Father, it's true, without faith, it's impossible to please you. Those who come to you must believe that you are, that you are a rewarder of those who diligently seek you. Persistence, Father, is faith in action. When we come to meet you in the secret place, may we be persistent, staying until we are satisfied with our communication with you. O oh, Father, do not let us walk away empty. How will we know when we are satisfied? We will know because we will be changed, for no one can enter your presence without being changed. When there is a lack of connection, Father, prompt us to check ourselves. Are we focused or is our mind wandering? Do we have an attitude or are we open to what you have for us? Father, We must fight through barriers of the enemy, not throwing in the towel at the first sign of resistance. The keys to successfully meeting with you are a heart full of desire for you and the tenacity to stay until we connect with you. Father, this life in the Spirit is not easy, but for those who will push through, there is treasure, not only in heaven, but also here on this earth. Oh, it's in the mighty name of Jesus we pray this morning. Amen. This is Jeff with this morning's prayer, praying that you have a great and God-filled day today. Shalom.